next so we are back to our settings here a very uh, important and nifty feature especially for stage performers for drummers um, is the click track pen so the click track pen has two different options the first one is called the default mix and it uses the pen of the original backing track meaning that you will have a true stereo sound as recorded for each track in the mixer metronome included so this is great for most of the uh, use that you may have with a jam zone but if you are a performer playing on stage or if you do want to have the click uh, because you are trying to stay on beat with the click track you might not want the audience to hear the click track only you in your monitoring system wants to hear it so um, to do that you select the stage mix here and what it will do is send the click to the right channel and all the other instruments to the left channel this is very easy to hear when you're having some wired um, headphones for example you will have the click on one side and all the other instruments on the other and if you're playing on stage with um, a sound system you can uh, send the channel with the instruments to the front speakers it will be a mono but that you can duplicate to create effect stereo and on your headset for the drummer or for the bass whatever you can uh, only uh, route the, uh, the click track so that you can stay in rhythm all the time uh, and just rely on that click track to uh, stay in bit so I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like so if I select default mix here I go to my tracks I'm going to play one here you can see that from I'm going to unmute everything you can see that from the view meters directly. Here you see those two lines mean that the sound of this instrument is going to both of the channels. And the click here is also going left and right. Now let's compare with the stage mix. So again, settings, click track pan, going to stage mix, validating, exiting the window, going back to my tracks, opening that same song. And when I play this time, you will see that the click track here is only on the right channel and all the other instruments are on the left. So this is a very easy and visual way to verify that the stage mix is actually active in the app. If you're having issues not hearing that separation of tracks, it probably means that your hardware setup has an issue and you should route things differently so that you can have separated click and pre-count and um, instruments. So again, this is a very uh, important feature for most performers. Um, the, so don't hesitate to use it. Um, we use it every week at the office to play on stage. Um, this is probably one of the, 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 the preferred um, features that there is into Jamzola.